tonight on Hunter. And I knocked him out. Oh, you see. And a fight went the way we talked about it. He could have taken Sanchez anyway. You understand me? I'm out of here. Sounds like Sonny's under a lot of pressure. Sonny's possessed. I mean, Sonny will do anything to be a champ. His description of the suspect matches Sonny to a T. I won't lose any sleep over it. No, you'd need a conscience for that. Where's my cut? No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come over here. Just let me press this. Hey, you're looking sharp. You're looking sharp. Make it look good. There's a big payday. Look sharp out there. Look sharp. Greg, one voice in the corner. Just one voice. All right. All right. I'm sorry. Stay off of the ropes. Get away from them. Box him. Keep your hand up to protect that eye. You understand me? And the fight is yours. You got one more round. Okay, Hector, last round. Touch gloves now. Sonny, the last round. I want you to touch gloves. Okay. It's not over yet. Are you kidding? Vegas had him a six to one underdog, and I got 200 bucks on him. What'd you do, get a tip? Ah, uh, sentimental reason. Yeah. You're sporting. It's sporting! You go see what Doc Beeler's blood pressure is like. Thank <laughs> you. 
What do you think? Oh, well, apparently all three judges have us in good shape. We need is a fighter. Congratulations, Sonny. Oh, thanks, Mr. Gleason. Listen, if you don't have any plans, uh, we're having a little get-together at the house later on tonight. Hey, that's great. Unfortunately, we do have other plans. Thanks a lot, but no thanks. Come on, sir. Okay, let's go back. I'll introduce you to Benny. Right. Come on. Come on, Cyclone Williams. Sonny, get him, huh? As soon as the locker room clears, we'll go in. You're all right, Sonny. You'll live. Benny, the eye's okay. Got a great physical specimen here. Gonna go places. <laughs> Ain't nothing can stop me now. I'm on my way. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I told you we could take Sanchez, didn't I, Benny? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Now we got Gleason banging down our door. That's the big time. Yeah, Gleason's got Cyclone Williams, number three contender in his stable. I must be doing something right, eh, Benny? Yeah. You're feeling pretty good now, aren't you, Sonny? Yeah. 13 and 0 as a pro? You know what a real pro would have done to you in that corner tonight? He would have murdered you. What I'm saying, Sonny, is that it's not just hooks and jabs. It's headbutts, it's elbows. There's a thousand tricks that you haven't even begun to learn yet. Gleason's one of the top promoters in the country. You know what the Gleasons of this world are looking for? They're looking for a big payday. Kid, he'll use you, he'll abuse you, and he'll drop you like a bad habit. I just want a damn big fight. How about a little support? Well, um, congratulations, fellas. See you next week. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. How's he doing? Come on, Doc. Come on, Doc. Take a good look in the mirror, pal. You're trying to live your life through the kids. Well, it won't work. You had your turn. Now it's Sonny's. Hey, Benny. Great fight. Hi, Nicky. Rick Hunter, Benny Schaefer. Hi, Hi pleasure. I saw you fight Iron Man Johnson years ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. You a fight fan? Well, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Sonny, this is Nicky Blair and Rick Hunter. Yeah, how you doing, guys? Hey. Pleasure. How are you? Great fight, Sonny. Yeah, congratulations. Great. I understand you got a shot at Cyclone Williams. Sure hope it happens. Cyclone Williams, he's the fight out of your gym, didn't he, Ben? Yeah. Sonny will fight him. One day. Hey, Benny. And Marty's when I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, 
Would you like to go to my place to get something to eat, Ben? Thank you, Nicky, but give me a rain check, will you? Sure. Pleasure. Thank my you. pleasure. You'll call me, huh? You'll call me by the end of the week? Yeah, I'll call you. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. I don't think Benny's gonna show. Yeah. Ray, what's the problem? Benny thinks an awful lot of that kid, Mr. G. So do I. We all want what's best for the kid. Benny wouldn't like to see the kid get hurt. Doc, is the kid gonna get hurt? Kid's in great shape. He's 13 and 0. 13 and 0. His reflexes are sharp. He's got a punch like a mule. No physical problems, as far as I can see. And a fight went the way we talked about, right, Ray? Come on, Mr. G. The kid's a hell of a fighter. He could have taken Sanchez anyway. You know, Sonny's like blood to me and Benny. Ray, to me, he's like gold. I just can't take any chances. I need him. I need him to move my fighters toward the big money. Now, along the way, he'll pick up a nice pile for himself. Who knows? Maybe even a title shot down the road. But Ray. You are rent to the bookies for over a hundred grand. I can't keep them off your back any longer. Doing the best I can. Do better. End of meeting. Where's my money? Relax, Ray. You'll get paid. It takes time. I need it now. I can't think straight till I get these bookies off my back. Look, give me my share now and let me the rest. Listen, Ray. Once Sonny moves into Gleason's camp, your problems are solved. Then he won't go along with it. Anyway, I don't like the way this whole thing's going down. It's too late now, Ray. Oh, yeah? What do you think Gleason's going to do when he finds out what you've been pumping into Sonny, huh? And maybe I'll go to the commission with it, too. You'd do that, wouldn't you? You can make book on it. Oh, did you see me in there tonight, baby? I mean, I had it. I mean, I walked into that ring and I, I felt like a fine-tuned machine working on all eight cylinders. And I come up to this kid and I knocked him out. Oh, you see. Not bad for an underdog. Benny says you were lucky tonight. What do you mean, because of this? He's just afraid to unleash me. Ray thinks I'm ready for Cyclone Williams. So you know what I tell Ray? I say, why don't we move up and wait and take on Sugar Ray? What's happening to you, Sonny, huh? You're really talking crazy, you know that? Crazy? The only thing I'm crazy about is you. Come on, let's go to Gleason's. I don't want to go to Gleason's. Come on, I just want to fight. You want to be a catch potato? Let's go party. Not with Gleason. You know, you're starting to sound just like Benny after the fight. What's wrong with sounding like Benny? I mean, what is happening to you, Sonny? I mean, ever since Gleason, all you talk about is you. What about us? Our dreams, our goals, remember, Sonny? Baby, baby. I love you, and I love Benny, and I love Ray. But right now, I'm on a roll. I mean, I can feel it. Every time I walk into a ring, I can feel it. You know what that feels like? And I just get out there and...
break. That's it. Teach him that spin. Spin on your right foot. Doing it. Oh, come on, slow down. I just want to convey best wishes from Mr. Gleason. I'd like to talk to your boy. Oh, you would, eh? Well, you can't. Because this is my gym, these are my fighters, and I want you out of here. Take it easy. Hey. You ever touch him again, I'm gonna break your nose. Yeah, right. Buzz off. I'll, I'll talk to you girls later. What the hell's going on here? Just take it easy. Stuff. Don't give me that take it easy stuff. You too, Ray. I'm sick and tired of this. You get it straight or I'm out of here. You understand me? I'm out of here. What's going on? What have you been telling Gleason? You know what I've been telling Gleason? Well, I'm telling you it's no good for Sonny. No, Benny. I'm sick and tired of these crummy club fights with no payoff. Just once, just once in my life, I want a big payday. And if you get a big payday, you'll have to turn it over to the bookies, which is what you've been doing all these years. If you hadn't, you'd have money today. Betty, what's the matter with you? What's happened to us? We used to be like brothers. Won't you listen to me just this once? Just this once, please? I'm begging you. Come on, Ray, you, you don't have to beg me, man. Look, all I'm saying is we finally got a kid with a future, huh? And if we're good to him, he'll be good to us. But we've got to be straight with him and don't let him down. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Huh? You're right, you're right. Good. All right, I'll come. Come on, I can still come, come on, on in there faster than you. I'll see you tomorrow. Sure, boss. All right. All right, go back to the bags. What the hell are you doing here? What time did you and Benny leave the TKO bar? About um, 10 or 10.30. I just can't believe it, not, not Ray. Where'd you go after that? Come on, Ray and I were like family, don't... I went to my girlfriend Marta's house, you can check it. Benny, you have any idea what Ray was doing here so late? I don't know. Maybe he wanted to be alone. You have any idea who would do this? I wish I knew. Well, if you were me, where would you start? Bookies? I mean, all of them. Because he was in hock up to his butt. Maybe, maybe one of them just pushed a little hard. 
Yeah, see, that doesn't make sense, Benny, because if a bookie kills him, he doesn't get paid, right? Well, it's the best I can come up with. Well, if you can think of anything else, why don't you come on down to the station house? We'll have a nice little chat. All right, if you think of anything, I'll call you. I hate station houses. It's a hang-up from my childhood. I hope you're happy, Benny. How's the kid doing? I think he's pretty shaken up. His girlfriend's Martha Gomez. I'll go over and talk to her. Yeah. What did Benny tell you? He told me Ray was in deep with every bookie in town. Tell you what, I'll run it by Sporty, see what he can dig up. Yeah, good. Use it to find Thanks. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, hi, Rick. I appreciate you coming. He's been here for a couple hours, and he's really down. Let's go take a look. OK, sure thing. He's a wreck. I've known him for 20 years, Rick, and I've, I've never seen him like this before. I'm, I'm really worried. Let me have a word with him by myself. Huh? Okay, I'll I'll be in the kitchen. Yeah, good. Thanks. I don't know where to start. Listen, Benny, an awful lot's happened over the last 24 hours. Why don't you relax, take your time, and start at the beginning? It's a lot of years ago, Hunter. Ray and I go back over 20 years. When Sonny's father died, we took the kid in. Well, we trained him, looked after him. I brought up that kid like he was my own son. He won't make a move without my say-so. You and Ray ever argue? Yeah, we argued. He always push the kid too fast. Well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> you too, Hunter. Look, the only thing Ray was interested in was a big payday. And Gleason. <laughs> he offered him the moon. So with uh, Ray gone now, there's no way you'd ever turn the boy over to Gleason, is that right? Hunter, whoever killed Ray is trying to put a wedge between Sonny and me. Now, if something happens to me, then the kid's got no place to go except to Gleason. And I ain't gonna let that happen. Let me just tell you something, Benny. You relax about Gleason. Let me worry about him. Okay? All right. I want you to be available to me if I need you. You understand me? All right, all right. You know what the Gleasons of this world are after? One big payday. They'll use you, abuse you, and drop you like a bad habit. Make it look good. There's a big payday. Look sharp. Martha Gomez? 
Yes? Sergeant McCall, PD. Sonny? No, I just need to ask you a couple of questions. He's fine. Listen, could we go inside and talk for a little bit? Yeah. Let me help you with that. Thanks. Uh, where should I put these? Uh, just on the coffee table, please. Just stand and have a seat on the sofa. Thanks. So how can I help you? Ray Sullivan's been murdered. Talk to me. Look, ever since this guy Gleason's been around, Sonny only has time for Sonny. Leaves you feeling left out, huh? You're a good cop. Well, I understand. How's Sonny taking Ray's death? Not well. Tell me about Gleason. Gleason wants Sonny to fight for him. He wants to promote Sonny. He wants to manage Sonny. But Benny doesn't think he's ready yet. Ray did. Sounds like Sonny's under a lot of pressure. Sonny's possessed. I mean, Sonny will do anything to be a champ. What do you mean? Just wait right here a second. He's been taking these for the last six and a half months. He's taking anabolic steroids? Yeah. Sergeant Hunter, good afternoon. Can I offer you something to drink? Uh, no thanks, Mr. Gleason. I presume you're here because of Ray Sullivan's death. Am I a suspect? Oh, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I've been accused of a few killings in my time, Sergeant Hunter. But those were all financial. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can greatly appreciate that. However, I'm here to discuss a homicide. What was your relationship with Ray Sullivan? Ray Sullivan was a small-time fight promoter. I was trying to help him with some financial problems. How's that? We were talking about buying one of his fighters, Sonny Ruiz. I see. Oh, I won't pretend it was nothing in it for me. Kid's a hell of a fighter. Another uh, financial killing, huh? Sergeant Hunter, I have a stable full of fighters, including the third-ranked middleweight Cyclone Williams. Sonny Ruiz is just another property. See, I don't dirty my hands with the Ray Sullivans in this world. So he was in a different league, Ray, huh? Just another business deal gone south. I won't lose any sleep over it. No, you'd need a conscience for that. You don't want any part of me, so sit down. Sit down, Leo. Okay, Mr. Gleason, I appreciate your hospitality. We'll all be chatting soon.
finally, there he goes. happened about uh, 2 o'clock, huh? That's right. I, I was sitting at my desk, and this guy came running in here. I asked him if I could do something for him, but he just ignored me and ran past me and got into the elevator. Got off on 2, so I came back and called security. OK, now, that's the guy you saw, right? Yeah, that's the guy. Are you sure about that? Yeah, that's him. OK, good. Thanks very much. Listen, if you think of anything else, please call me at that number. One of the bottom right-hand corners of my office. OK. Thanks. I interviewed the guard. His description of the suspect matches Sonny to a T. He also got a license plate number off the car, L-Y-T-E-S-O-U-T. -E Lights out. Yeah, and the car's registered to Sonny Ruiz. Mm -hmm. The uh, receptionist ID'd him as well. What'd you hear from headquarters? They confirmed that both of Gleason's men, Dino Morelli and Leo White, have real strong alibis for the night that Ray was killed. OK, look, it's about time you dig up to see what Sporty has to offer. I'll go find Sonny. You weren't supposed to kill a guy. I just wanted to find out what Ray and Doc were up to. Now I'm going to have Hunter walking all over my business. I keep telling you it was just an accident. Who told you to hit him? I slapped the guy a couple of times. He fell and hit his head. Look, the guy's dead, all right? But we're better off. He told me he killed him. Said he was going straight to the boxing commission about our business. Maybe you're right. You're still sloppy. And you think you can do this without having an accident? Talk to Benny. Tell him, we don't sign Sonny, we waste a kid. Can you do that without killing anybody? Don't worry, it's covered. And Dino! You tell Benny, that kid doesn't fight for us, he doesn't fight for anybody. Capiche. So where'd you put your money, Sporty? Hector Sanchez or Sonny Ruiz? And Elijah says, Sergeant, what's the difference? I lost, my man went in the tank. What makes you think it was a fix? Look, wagering ratios altered drastically in the last few moments. Sonny's odds went from 6 to 1 to 3 to 1 in the last 10 minutes. So what does that mean exactly? Well, in the parlance of the gaming community, a bet on Sonny is smart money. Rumor has it that there's a guy who laid down 50,000 on him in the last 10 minutes. 50 Gs? Mm -hmm. Who's that? A fight doctor by the name of Beeler. Doc Beeler? Mm-hmm. You think Benny and Ray knew it was a fix? Well, whoever knew made a lot of money. <laughs> You're not kidding. Gee, what's that? Don't they know we're closed? What the hell are you doing in here? Leo, take him in the back. Benny. Yeah, I'm sure you're one of those beautiful cannolis he's got. What does it take to get through to you, for you to get the message? I do not want to deal with Gleason. We just want Sonny's name on a contract. You got no chance of it, and it's no deal. You do know Sonny's popping steroids, don't you? Oh, yeah. Ray and Doc turned the kid onto this stuff. Why didn't anybody tell poor old Benny? You get the kid delivered to Gleason, or you won't have any kid. You try living with that. You'd kill Sonny, wouldn't you? Just like you killed Ray. Ray was stupid. We didn't kill Ray. Doc killed him. Ray was about ready to sing to the boxing commission about the drugs. So you killed Doc. That was an accident. And if you don't want any more accidents, deliver the kid. Leo, let's go. Don't be stupid. There's a lot of money in this. Hey, what happened? Sonny, I don't get it. I still don't understand why you went there. I told you, something was going on with Ray and the doc. That's why I was there. Yeah, what? What was going on? I don't know. Something. Was it Ray's gambling again? No. 
Maybe. Hell, I don't know. I mean, everything's going so fast. First it was Ray, then the doc. I mean, Benny might be next. Sonny? Sonny, listen to me. Please go to the police, oh, Sonny. Oh, baby, are you crazy? The woman in the building saw me. Doc Beeler was beaten to death. The cops are going to think it was me. Sonny, if you think Gleason killed Ray, go see Sergeant McCall. She'll help us. Marta, the cops can't help people like me. Not against guys like Gleason. He's got all the juice in the world. No, but Sonny... No, Sonny, enough. Don't you understand? Gleason's the only one that can help us now. He's my only answer. You understand me? Yeah. If I don't sign with Gleason... If I don't sign with him, something bad's gonna happen to Benny. Benny, get a hold of yourself. Will you stop talking crazy, huh? You don't understand, Nick. The Gleasons of this business have been picking my pockets for the last 20 years. You take it easy. Stop talking like that. Giving this game everything I've got. First, Ray. Now they want Sonny. No way. Sonny's a good kid. He won't do anything to let you down. You don't know Gleason. He's got to be stopped. He's got to be stopped before he messes up Sonny's life. Benny. McCall, come in here on the double. I got something good for you. Sergeant McCall, be right in. Thank you. Captain? This is Ann Smith, Sergeant McCall. Yeah, I remember you. You're the receptionist at Dr. Beeler's building. Right. Miss Smith, uh, tell Sergeant McCall what you just told me. Well, when Sergeant Hunter interviewed me at Dr. Beeler's building, I told him that all I saw was a guy run in and run out a few minutes later. What I forgot to tell him was, is I'm six months pregnant and that I arrived earlier than I usually do, which is 9 o'clock. Well, I had an 8 a.m. appointment that morning, and my doctor's in the same building. So when I came through the parking lot, I saw a man parked in a gray car. Did you get the license number? No. So what happened? Well, when I walked past him, he quickly put on a pair of sunglasses. This seemed kind of strange to me. It seemed like he was trying to hide his face. I really didn't think too much about it until after Sergeant Hunter left. If you saw this man again, do you think you could recognize his face? She already has. Dino Morelli, it's one of Gleason's boys. Excuse me, Captain. Uh, Sergeant McCall, you want to take an urgent call from a Mr. Nicky Blair? Yeah. He's on line two. Hey, Nicky. Thanks. He says that Benny just left his restaurant. He seems real upset, and he thinks he's on his way over to Gleason's. Get on it. I'll call Hunter, and I'll get some backup. Sonny, you throw the punches, I do the rest, right? You saw me handle Sanchez, right? Like an ace. Now listen, let's go in here, we'll have a little visit, sit down and talk a little contract. You want a drink? You drink? I don't drink. Oh, all right, we'll have a little fruit juice. You know, Sonny, sit here. Sit down, take it easy. Now, let's talk.
Sanchez was fighting with two thirds of his hand speed in his prime. If it was Cyclone, I can take the guy. Maybe, but not yet. First, we gotta get you a rent, see? I'm gonna put you on a prelim card with O'Connor. O'Connor, I could take that guy with one hand. Sonny, I pick the fights, you do the boxing. Okay, no problem. Just don't hurt Benny. Put in writing and I'll sign anything. You don't have to sign nothing. Benny, what are you doing here? I can't let you go through with this, kid. Now get out of here. Now let's all calm down. Benny, you're taking this much too personally. It's strictly business. Business, huh? Business like when you killed Ray? That was business too, wasn't it? Now, you know, I had nothing to do with that. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot. You had nothing to do with Doc either. Right, Dino? <laughs> kid, these guys will stop at nothing. Benny, listen to me. I'm giving Sonny what he needs. Big paychecks, big cable deals. You want to jump on for the ride, you're welcome. Now, let me tell you something, Cleason. I've been caving into guys like you much too long, but not this time. Benny, don't do it. Don't do it. Look, we'll just get out of here. No, you don't understand, Sonny. If it's not today, what? then it'll be tomorrow. Freeze it right there, Benny. Take Mr. Schaefer outside. Hey, you promise me you're not going to hurt him. Nobody's talking about getting hurt. Take him outside, let him cool off, and then take him home. All right. Now, Sonny. You want to help Benny? Let's finish our business. Freeze, police, right there. Don't even think about it. Sonny? Yeah, Benny, I'm okay. Drop the gun, Benny. Stay out of this, Hunter. Benny, I mean it. Come on, give me the gun. No, it's payback time for all the small time promoters that he has rolled over. You don't worry about him. He'll pay for it. Benny, don't blow it on this scum. It ain't worth it. He's right, Benny. Give me the gun. Come on. That's right. Oh, boy. Eight, nine, ten, and you're out. Works for me. 